what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video I'm just gonna go over real quick we're gonna go over some tree stand safety tips because it's getting that time of year if you guys are new to the channel please be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you are new drop a comment down below let me know if you guys go over all your tree stands and your ladder sticks and all that to stay safe because the older I get the smarter I get I want to go home every day and I want to be able to continue to hunt for as long as possible all right guys we're in between rain here but this is one set of sticks here it's a four piece section and then we have one two three four of actual ladder sticks each one is 20 feet so I always bundle all these together when I pack them up at the end of the season I just take them apart and then uh, strap them with a strap but the main thing I always want to check is I always on the connection here I pull it apart and I always check to see if it's rusted here because a lot of times they will rust right here and these the end uh, groove here this thing will snap right off these sets here are actually brand new I used them one time last year and set it up made by field and stream but I think I'm actually gonna transition into this type of setup where you got the four separate pieces that way you can take down the two pieces closest to the ground so nobody can steal your stand if they really want it obviously they use a ladder to uh, to get it you know up to the other two sections but if you take the bottom two out less inclined to steal your stand so I actually just did this on purpose because this is what happens. So I, I drop the leg down into the dirt and this fills up the dirt because it's hollow on the inside. So anytime you take these sticks down, what you wanna do is you wanna either flush these out or poke a stick down in there to get all that dirt out. Otherwise, when you sit over the winter time, all that dirt's just gonna sit in there. It's gonna rot out the sticks. It's gonna rot out these corner pegs here and then it could be a dangerous situation when you try to put your foot on here and the thing snaps off from being rotted out. So yeah, guys, that's just some uh, little safety tips you know, you guys can use on those sticks because I've actually seen those legs snap off from dirt building up inside of it and that rust out from the actual inside. Here are some of my tree stands. I have a bunch of different varieties there. We're gonna pull those down, uh, check the cables on them and uh, all that good stuff there. And then um, I think in the next few weeks, we're going to be going through hanging um, a bunch of tree stands. And uh, we have to get some new safety straps. We gotta, we're got we going to check the cables. If we need some new cables on the on the stands, we'll go ahead and order those, get those replaced. Because like I said, I don't, I don't like to mess around with this stuff. I know a lot of people actually keep their stands in the woods year round. And I highly, highly, highly disagree with that. So yeah, we got four sticks, four sections here. Plus we got the, the four separate pegs, so we have five uh, sets that we can hang. I'm probably gonna end up getting two more sets uh, just to have them, so eventually I can get these out and replace these because of, like I said, I wanna get to the single, uh, single setup just because it'll prevent a lot of tree stands theft. It's a shame that you actually have to do that because it, you know it's just the way the world is coming and everything. Either people steal trail cameras or they steal tree stands it's like number one and number two thing that that hunters like to steal from each other which boggles my mind but we're gonna end up getting away from from these and go to the single ones one last thing here to check is the wing nut so this bolt goes through and you got the clamp on the other side where your strap goes through so always check these bolts here I know a lot of times they rust but I'll just end up unscrewing this, put a little WD on it or something, and then, and then wash it off, and then you know just just retighten it. But be careful with that. That's pretty much it, guys. Sorry for the not so entertaining video, but I believe it's a actually important video, just because there's a lot of people that get injured with tree stands, and you know most of the time it either happens from climbing a stand or coming down out of the stand, and it starts with your climbing sticks, your screwing steps. Or whatever it is that you're using years ago I used to use the old screwing steps I highly 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 disagree with those anymore just from experience and getting older and stuff I want to transition to the sticks they're more to my opinion I think they're more safe but you also you have to do maintenance on them and like I mentioned earlier 
the people that leave this stuff out year round, I disagree with 100%. I think, you know, if possible, do your best to take these things out of the stand or out of the woods, I should say. Take them out of the woods, take them back to your house, clean them up, wash them out, dry them, and, and store them away out of the elements. So they last for several years because hunting stuff's getting expensive, you know. I think each one of these 20 foot sections are like 50 bucks. These are cheap. They're cheap ones, I say cheap. But they're from like Dick's Sporting Goods, they're like 50 bucks. I mean, you can get the single ones. I mean, you can buy a 20 foot section for like 150 almost $200 just for the just for the sticks. So I use the cheap ones, 50 bucks. I've had actually these four sections here for probably five years now. And they I've not had a single issue with them. But I've seen people have issues where they rust out from the dirt and, and all that other stuff. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new. Leave a comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time.